this is one year later and you can see the grill side build up then I'm gonna just scrape down clean that out but here you can see the firebox how it's holding up after one year of usage and plenty of cooks on it it's completely warped up down there so but it's not uh, burned through yet it's just warped up and uh, just deformed but everything else on the inside looks pretty good okay I pretty much just used a putty knife to scrape down the excess so it's pretty much cleaned up again the gaskets in good shape no damage to the gasket there's no rust on the unit so held up for a year I do have a cover for it but it held up no problems I don't see any issues with the exterior of the unit we do we did have a flare up so I have to touch up the paint in the back but everything else is in pretty good shape electronics work uh, one of the, the probe uh, went out on it so this is going to be a new probe and then during the flare up I had the door switch went bad that was my fault but this sent me one on a warranty but the unit held, held up well the grates are in pretty good shape yet you do have to clean this thing out once in a while so I just take a putty knife and I scrape down the, the firebox itself. There's two Phillips screws underneath so you can remove the firebox and shake off the excess dust if you have any issues. But putty knife just scrape down any of the excess grease that's on the walls. And then what you do is that you get a drip pan here that you drain out. And this back pan, you just lift it up over the edge over there, and you pull it out. And all I did was scrape it out, all the excess grease. Once you move this pan, you can have access to the two Phillips screws right there, and then that will remove the firebox and just give it a good shake. But my firebox is pretty clean. So in summary, I just like to point out that the unit held up pretty good. I mean, there's no signs of uh, excessive weathering on it, so everything held up fine. Uh, there's no rust, chip paint, or nothing like that. Everything's intact, and overall, it's working as it should. So there's no problems with it. I've done many cooks on this thing. The only thing uh, I have to point out is that uh, when you're cooking chicken thighs on these things and, and you cook that at a higher temperature you got to be kind of careful because you, it's going to flare up on you and unlike a regular grill you don't you don't have a way of snuffing it out quickly or having a uh, cool area where you can move the meat towards and you know like on a rebel you got separate burners and you keep one side cold, cold and or shut off and then the other side hot so you can move food around so that's that's what happened in my last flare up I had the chicken thighs in there so Unfortunately, I had to resort to the fire extinguisher, which is basically baking soda. So after I extinguish the flame, then you have to uh, take apart the whole unit and then uh, rinse it off. And then I use solution of vinegar and water to uh, neutralize the baking soda. And, uh, and th that took about a half a day. Just let it dry out in the sun. And uh, what it did was that it uh, made my grill super clean again. So that was the benefit of the uh, flare up. But I just want to point out that you have to be careful with greasy foods as this thing will flare up on you. But otherwise, uh, except for that one incident, I've had no problems with this thing. It's held temperature pretty good for the longer cooks and held up pretty well. So right now I'm cooking chicken thighs. So here's the temperature to probe right now. And I got it set for 165 to notify me. I got the probe stuck into the thighs. So as soon as it hits uh, 165, it will notify me. And I can come out and uh, check it with the instant read thermometer and make any adjustments if I have to. So the, the app has been pretty handy and it's been working as it should. You know, the, in the beginning they had issues with it, but it's, it's working fine right now. 
I mean, I see absolutely no issues with the, the wear on this thing. After one year, we went through winter, storms, cold seasons, super hot seasons, close to uh, in the 90s. And uh, like I mentioned before, the, the cover is probably essential on this. But I leave it outside during the whole year. There's no, uh, I didn't put it inside the garage. And, and I'm impressed, it held up pretty good. So that's my one year review of the uh, Master Built 560. And uh, I just want to mention again that cleaning this thing out periodically is super easy. All you do is just take off the grate, scrape off the uh, firebox top, scrape down the sides, and then uh, you just remove the drip pan and then the, the uh, grease catch-all. And that takes only a few seconds to scrape it down and you're off running for another cookout. I'm finished cleaning this unit. I just want to point out that the, the cover, after one year, has held up pretty good. We got quite a bit of sun fade up top, but it's too flexible, it's not brittle. So it's gonna continue on for at least another year without a problem. I did notice that uh, Master Build has a competitor out there called Char Griller. It looks like it's a, basically the same unit. The cooking area is a little bit different. And I believe the burner box has a uh, built-in grease deflector on it. But uh, competition is coming. The Char Griller costs a bit more than this one. So, you know, still at $4.99, this is still the, uh, the king of the gravity-fed charcoal that's out there. We've done many cooks on it and uh, never been disappointed yet, so I just want to summarize quickly my thoughts on the uh, Master Built 560. Thank you for watching and uh, please comment if you have any uh, experiences uh, with the grill after a period of time.